Today we are reading this book. This book is called Summer Green to Autumn Gold, Uncovering Leaves, Hidden Colors by Mia Posada. Have you ever looked around your neighborhood or outside your house or maybe outside of school and you see the leaves start to change color? Yes. Have you ever asked to yourself, hmm, why is that happening? Today's book is going to answer all of your questions. Are you ready? Grown-ups, listen up so that when you get this question, <laughs> you'll be able to answer it too. Here we go. What kind of leaves do you see in the summer? What color are all these leaves? Yes, green. In the summertime, all the leaves on our trees are green. From emerald to jade and every shade in between, summer leaves fill the world with green. The secret to their green color is found deep inside each leaf. Mm. Ooh, let's see. Tiny parts in the leaf called cells hold tinier parts called chloroplasts. Inside the chloroplast is something called chlorophyll. Chlorophyll is a green pigment or color, and it is what makes the leaves green. Wow, can you believe all of those tiny pieces are inside the leaf? That is absolutely incredible. Besides making plants green, chlorophyll has a job to do. It helps make food for trees and other green plants. When the sun shines on a plant's leaves, chlorophyll collects some of its energy. The energy combines with water from the ground and gas from the air to make food. The food helps the plant grow. Yeah, because you never see trees eating a bowl of mac and cheese or a cheeseburger, right? That's right. Trees use their chlorophyll to help make food. How interesting. The green chlorophyll is also hiding something for real it is covering up other colors inside the leaf orange and yellow pigments hide beneath the green all through the warm summer they wait slowly summer creeps toward fall the air cools and the nights grow longer these changes tell trees it is time to get ready for winter. The growing season for trees is over. The leaves stop making food and they don't need their chlorophyll anymore. The chlorophyll slowly disappears and the leaves green color fades away. Now the hidden yellows and oranges are finally revealed. Some leaves turn a fiery red, deep purple, or bright pink. These bright colors form inside the leaf as the weather cools. Other leaves have brown pigments hidden inside them. As the chlorophyll fades, these leaves turn brown. Many leaves have mixtures of yellow, orange, brown, and red pigments. The world is a rainbow of scarlet and orange, burgundy, and gold. Wow, look at those beautiful colors all together. How gorgeous. Soon the stems of the leaves start to separate from the tree. The wind blows them loose. They drift to the ground, piling up. Have you ever seen the leaves falling from the tree? Yeah. The fallen leaves feed the forest floor. They break down and become part of the soil. They become food and shelter for insects and snails and worms. Wow, do you see those tiny bugs? Yeah, they're eating from the leaves. Hmm. In spring, 
fresh leaves sprout from the awakening buds. Wow, so these are new leaves in the springtime. Full of chlorophyll and filling the world with green again. What's in the tree? Yes, two birds. Wow, that was so interesting. At the back of this book that gives even more information and a glossary with more different words that we can learn and vocabulary all about the changing leaves. It even gives us an experiment to do at the bottom here. Wow, so if you check this out from the library or buy it at your bookstore, check those things out in the back. Thank you so much. I learned so much about the color of leaves today. Thanks for coming to Storytime today. I will see you tomorrow, right? You'll be here tomorrow. Okay, cool. Bye. Thank you.